Selecting payments from the left hand menu will present you with a number of payment methods depending on your own user entitlements. In this video, we will go through how to create a manual international payment. Firstly, we need to select the funding or debit account from where the payment will be made by either using the drop down menu or the search function. Complete the payment details fields with the mandatory information. For clarification, the payment name will appear on the payment reports available in Transatlantic Global. The payment reference will appear as part of the narrative on the debit account and the beneficiary statement and again on the payment reports. Should you wish to future date the payment, you can amend the date here. Next select the currency that the funds will be credited in. Under payment currency field, you also have the option to enter the amounts in the currency of the debit account. Note however, this is only available if the debit account currency is different to the payment currency as shown here. Next we can add the beneficiary details by clicking on the add icon which will create a record in the grid. Using the drop down icon, depending on your access, you will have the option of selecting a beneficiary from the list or manually creating a new ad hoc beneficiary. Under reference, you will notice this is pre-populated by using the same as the payment reference in the details section. Next click on the details icon in order to enter in the payment amount and verify the beneficiary details. Here you can amend the beneficiary details if required by clicking on the edit beneficiary details icon. This will display items such as the bank's SWIFT code information and beneficiary bank account details. Below this, you can enter in the payment amount of the currency specified in the first screen. This box also contains an option to change the charges if required. The client reference is derived again from the payment reference from the original screen. If an intermediary bank is required for the payment, you can enter in the relevant details here. A payment may require information such as billing or invoice details. These can be entered under remittance information, and if required, you can then be emailed to the beneficiary by checking the box below. Pre-populated email addresses are derived from the beneficiary details in the payee list. Hit save to return to the creation screen. Should you wish to create a batch of payments, this is possible by adding more records into the beneficiary details grid and following the same process as shown previously. Please note however that the payments must all be in the same currency pairing. These can also be removed as shown. Should the payment require the need to utilise a pre-purchase contract as part of a transaction, then this can be added below under the FX details section. Clicking on the rate type menu drop down, select contract from the list and you can then add any FX contracts as part of the payment. If there is any shortfall after applying the contract, then you can elect to pay the remaining amount by using a dynamic rate. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will just use the dynamic rate for the entire payment. In the beneficiary details grid, you will now notice that an equivalent amount is shown if you have selected an alternative payment currency. This conversion is determined by using a non-transactable daily mid-rate to estimate the transaction value for the purpose of the approval discretions and available funds checking only. It is important to note that the actual exchange rate will be available after approval has been made. Once complete, hit review and submit and you will be presented with a review screen to verify your payment where you can either then go back and edit or submit your payment for approval. Once submitted, a confirmation pop-up will appear with your payment ID and also options to request a summary report, save the payment for future repeated payments as a template or view your payment. Clicking on OK will take you to your current payment screen.